everyone. Today I want to help answer the question, why Medderm? Maybe you've noticed that there are some of these programs that are combined internal medicine and dermatology programs, and you might be considering why you should apply to those programs as opposed to just a straight dermatology program or a straight medicine program. Well, I hope I can help answer that question for you today, and I thought the easiest way to start would be to tell you about my own journey. Well, I personally went through a combined Medderm residency program. What that means is that I spent two and a half years doing internal medicine and two and a half years doing dermatology. At the end of five years, you can get board certified in both medicine and dermatology. A lot of people do different things with a combined degree, and really there's so few of us that have gone through these combined programs that it's really up to you as a resident in a combined program to dictate what your career might look like on a day-to-day -day basis. So for example, I love both specialties. So while I practice primarily dermatology, I do still spend a month of my time every year attending on the internal medicine service as an inpatient hospitalist. But that's just me, and there's a lot of other people who are trained in both medicine and dermatology, and we all do very different things. Some of us do inpatient dermatology, and I'm one of those people too. Some of us have gone on to do a dermatopathology fellowship. I also have colleagues who actually still practice emergency medicine in addition to internal medicine and dermatology. So really, the world is your oyster. There's so few of us trained in this way that you can kind of create your own niche and create your own career as time goes on. But to help answer the question of why you should even consider one of these programs, I thought it might help to tell you a little bit about how I found myself applying to these programs too. So when I was a third year medical student, I actually thought I was gonna be a surgeon. And it wasn't until I did my core clerkships that I realized how much I loved internal medicine. I was pretty much set on a career in medicine and actually thought I was gonna be a cardiologist. I ended up taking a year off, I got a master's in public health and did research in cardiology and was pretty much ready to apply. But then I did a dermatology rotation in July of my fourth year and ended up loving it. I was really hesitant at first because everything was really set up to go into internal medicine. And so I did a second rotation in dermatology and found that I just loved it even more. I had a really hard time turning my back on medicine though. It was really what I had built the idea of my future career around. And there was something about never using a stethoscope again that really made me uncomfortable. So I thought about it really hard and realized that I love medicine, I love dermatology, um, and I really credit my wife Susie for this, but she was the one that kind of went through it with me and thought about the fact that, you know, I really enjoyed the cerebral aspect of it. The ability to put things together from the outside in as a dermatologist and from the inside out as an internist. But the part about medicine that I really loved and I knew I would miss was the team aspect of medicine. So much of our internal medicine training is on the inpatient side. You really get to see people function as a team, working together to provide better healthcare for our patients. And I knew that I was going to miss that desperately. The other thing that I realized is I really love the idea of a super complicated patient coming in and being the internist and saying, I got this. I can figure all this out. I can break these problems up one by one. I'll call for help when I need to, but I can take care of all of this. And that was something I never wanted to lose sight of. I ended up applying for these combined Medderm residencies and lucky enough, matched in one as well. I will say though that now that I'm done with training and able to look back on my training in retrospect, I've come to appreciate some of the things that I never even realized when I was going through it. One of the things that I think Medderm training taught me was two different ways to think. As a dermatologist, we're taught to look at a rash first and to really start to ask history questions after we've done the exam, after we've figured out what the possibilities are. Whereas in internal medicine, we're all taught, take the history first, 90% of what you need is in the history, and then do a physical exam to help back up the suspicions you might have from your history. Dermatologists are taught to think very quick. Although internists are also using pattern recognition when it comes to using illness scripts and things like that, I think there's a little bit more teaching in internal medicine residency about being deliberate about really thinking through your clinical reasoning, and that's something that, although taught in dermatology, was not emphasized quite as much. So now, after going through combined training, I find that I toggle between those two sides of my brain, the thinking fast side and thinking slow side, when I have a really difficult patient. And I think that that's a lot easier because I've been trained in both ways. I've been trained in the slower type of thinking, or the deliberate type of thinking, as well as the pattern recognition, uh, kind of fast type of thinking. Some people may have heard of this before, but it's really combining the best of both system one and system two thinking. That's been so critical, especially since I like to specialize in the care of complex patients. In addition to the differences in thinking that can happen, I also think that internal medicine and dermatology residencies really give you different skill sets. 
They give you different skill sets in terms of how you manage a team, in terms of leadership opportunities, in terms of communicating with your patient, and to be totally honest, in terms of efficiency. Nothing like a dermatology residency will ever teach you how to be super efficient with your notes, with your patient encounters, with your phone calls, with your to-do list, and that's something that definitely helps me out on a day-to-day -day basis. So who might make the most successful MedDerm resident and who might make the most successful MedDerm applicant? I think most of the successful MedDerm applicants and residents are the ones that almost applied into internal medicine. The ones that could see themselves as internists, the ones that can really see themselves spending three years in an internal medicine residency program, those are the people who I think really thrive in a MedDerm combined residency. In addition to that, it really takes a person who's dedicated to both fields, obviously. You don't want to go into this residency if you're really only passionate about one. We're very clear that MedDerm residency is not a backdoor into a dermatology residency. People need to excel as dermatology applicants and excel as medicine residents. And both residencies really need to love you in order to recruit you to be a part of their program. I think the people that do well in a MedDerm residency truly are those that want to work at the intersection of both fields. And so for example, I work really at the intersection of cancer and dermatology. And I have a lot of colleagues that work at the intersection of rheumatology and derm or infectious disease and derm. It's one of those things where you might even see yourself potentially applying to a medicine fellowship, even though most of us don't, but I think that your interest is so deep-rooted that that's definitely something that might have crossed your mind before. And finally, I also think it's important to note that although we don't have that many graduates from med derm programs in the country, the majority of us really seem to be practicing a lot of inpatient dermatology. And I think the reason for that is because we get to use our subspecialty knowledge, but we still get to lead a team and we still get to be on the inpatient side, which we're so used to from internal medicine residency. Let's talk about logistics. First of all, there's really only five programs in the country, at least as of right now. And each program only has one or two slots. Now that said, don't despair. The group of applicants that applies to a MedDerm residency is also relatively small because most people that go into dermatology are not that interested in pursuing medicine training at the same time. And I think for that reason, we really are able to carve out a core group of people that are truly interested in both that apply to these programs. Every single program is different, so that means that some programs are built where your first year is internship, your second year is dermatology, and you flip back and forth every two months, three months, or six months for the next three years. Some programs are built so that you finish all of medicine first and then you go to all of dermatology. It's important to look at the details because the style of training and whether you intercalate or whether you go in series, that's an important question because it might make a difference in terms of how you practice. So for example, as someone who practices internal medicine now, and as someone who knew that they wanted to practice internal medicine in the future back when I was applying, I knew I wanted an intercalated program because I needed to get used to flipping back and forth between medicine and dermatology. So the next question is, how might you be able to get some more information about MedDerm? Well, there's a couple sources that I would suggest. First of all, if you're able to try to connect with MedDerm faculty at the different institutions so that you can ask some more questions about their program and maybe even connect so that they know who you are when your applications actually go through. It's also probably important to talk to your medicine side and your dermatology side because you have to remember that for the purposes of applying, you need four letters, two from medicine and two from dermatology. Another reminder that when you write your personal statement for MedDerm, it should answer why you want to be a combined medicine and dermatology resident. It shouldn't just talk about why you want to be a dermatologist and shouldn't just talk about why you want to be an internist. It should really explain why you want to sit at the intersection of these two fields. How else might you get some more information? Well, a couple of years ago, I actually was invited to be a part of the Topical podcast that's hosted by Drs. Chris Liu and Arash Mostagini over at the Brigham and Women's Hospital. And I think that that's a great resource. So take a listen there. I'll put the link down below so that you can take a listen in a different format in terms of how I thought about MedDerm. You can also listen to Arash talk about his experiences as a former MedDerm resident as well. So that's about all that I wanted to share with you today. I hope this was helpful. And I know, again, that this is a relatively small group of people that are gonna be interested in this. Um, but if you found this video helpful, please consider liking below. And certainly, if you like this information that we're sharing here, consider subscribing as well. Thanks again for joining me today. Hopefully you'll consider MedDerm because I do think it's a great way to train if it's something that is of interest to you. But until next time, see you later.